for circumcision is indeed of value if you obey the law. But if you break the law, your circumcision becomes uncircumcision. What's he saying there? He's saying if you were born an Israelite and you were circumcised the eighth day, but you live like a heathen, your circumcision means zip, zilch, nada, nothing. If you're not obedient to the covenant, if you're, not, if you're a law breaker, then circumcision becomes uncircumcision. God, does, God says, oh, I don't care, just merely externals. And so it is. There are people who get baptized in the church, and it doesn't mean anything. They've never surrendered their life to Christ. They've never trusted in Christ. It's just, a, they're just getting wet. That doesn't profit anything. Verse 26, so if a man who is uncircumcised keeps the precepts of the law, will not his uncircumcision be regarded circumcision? Then he who is physically uncircumcised but keeps the law will condemn you who have the written code and circumcision but break the law. For one is for no one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly, nor is circumcision outward and physical, but a Jew is one inwardly, and circumcision is a matter of the heart, by the spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, but from God. Paul, Paul goes into a lot to, to like explain this, but he's saying, you know what? You're not merely a Jew because you're a biological descendant. He very clearly says you're not a Jew by being one merely outwardly. Circumcision is, is, not, uh, is not merely outward and physical, but there's a spiritual circumcision. When a person comes to faith in Christ, he becomes a new creature in Christ. He becomes a new creation. God does a work in his heart. That's what Colossians calls the circumcision of the heart. So, so being a Jew is not merely an outward genealogical thing. I ask people sometimes the question, what is a Jew? Today, a lot of people say, well, you're a Jew if your mother's a Jew. I'm always like, huh? Where do you see that in Scripture? I look at the genealogical records and it's father to son. But at some point they realize, well, uh, you know, maybe, maybe the person uh, conceived out of wedlock or was forced. And so we're just going to say if your mother's Jewish, you're Jewish. But if your father's Jewish, you're not Jewish. Well, that would make David not a Jew because he had, he had Canaanite and Moabite grandmothers. What, what, is a, what, is a, uh, what is a Jew? Paul says, well, it's not outward. If, if, you, if, you're, not a covenant, if you're not a covenant member, you're, he says, you don't count. Circumcision is of the heart, not of the letter. 